If you're trying to maximize the amount of muscle mass that you build while minimizing the amount of body fat that you gain, these are four crucial things that you need to be doing in your workout program to maximize your progress. What's up guys? Today we're going over four crucial things that you need to be doing in your program when you're going to a lean bulk and you're trying to build muscle mass while minimizing the amount of body fat that you gain. Now before we hop into it guys, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jordan and I post weekly fitness content to help you get in the best shape of your life. I'm currently going through a full bulking series where each week I'm showing you workouts, videos, tips to help you build muscle while minimizing body fat. So if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the content that I'm posting weekly. Now I do want to preface this video and say that in order to build muscle, you're going to potentially put on a little body fat in that process. There's really no way around that. But what we're going to talk about today is how do you minimize the amount of body fat that you gain so that when you finish your lean bulk or your end of your bulking process and you're trying to cut down some body fat, that you don't have a ton of body fat that you have to strip away. It's going to be a long grueling process. So like I said, I want to preface that, that yes, in the process of building muscle, you may put on a little bit of body fat. That's perfectly normal. But what we're going to talk about today is to help you minimize so we don't have these huge changes in body fat that's going to take a lot of work to get rid of at the end of your bulk. The first thing that is crucial to maximizing your results with building muscle and keeping your body fat off as much as possible is following a structured macro plan. When you're bulking, this is not an excuse just to eat whatever you want. It's not an excuse to go hit up fast food restaurants and, and get a huge caloric surplus need to have a caloric surplus, but it needs to be controlled. We need to be making sure that we're following a structured macro plan. We're eating the specific amount of carbs, fat, and protein that each individual needs in order to get yourself in a caloric surplus that is not crazy high, but also make sure that we're getting enough calories so that we can actually build new tissue. Because when you're trying to build muscle mass, it's not going to come from nowhere. We need to actually be in a caloric surplus, meaning that you're eating more calories and your body's burning in order to build new muscle mass. Typically, what I recommend is we want to be in a 250 to 500 calorie caloric surplus in order to build lean tissue and minimize that body fat gain. So say, for example, someone is eating 2,500 calories. That person that's eating 2,500 calories in order to build muscle mass is going to need to eat anywhere from 2,750 to 3,000 calories every single day. We also want to make sure that we're structuring the amount of carbs, fat, protein, and the percentages of each so that we're not predominantly just eating one macronutrient or two macronutrients or not having the specific proportion of each macronutrient to maximize that muscle mass gain while minimizing that body fat gain. So I actually have a link down in the comment section below. After you watch this video, you can fill out that form on my website and I'll personally calculate your macros for free. I'll tell you how many carbs, fat, protein that you need to be eating in order to reach your goal so you can maximize the amount of muscle mass that you build while reducing the amount of body fat that you gain in the process of, of elite bulk. The second thing that you could do in order to minimize body fat gain during a bulk is to incorporate your cardio in your program. Now, how I specifically train, I train like a hybrid athlete where I mix strength training and running. Right now, I'm currently strength training five to six days a week while I'm running three days a week. And not only is doing consistent cardio going to help you minimize body fat gain, it's also just going to improve your overall cardiovascular health. It's going to help you bring intensity into your workouts where if you have an efficient cardiovascular system, you're going to be able to stick to rest times. You're going to be able to do supersets in your workouts. You're going to be able to get through grueling workouts. You're going to be able to deliver more blood flow to your working muscles. So overall, doing your cardio is not only going to help you minimize body fat gain, but it's also going to help you really push your strength training workouts and have really efficient workouts to help you build muscle. Now, what I would recommend is minimum, I would do two to three cardio workouts every single week. Like I said, this is not only going to help you build an efficient cardiovascular system, but it's also going to help you minimize that body fat gain and my thing is, if you never get out of shape, you don't have to get back into shape. So if you go into a bulking process and you cut cardio out, which I've done before, I've made that mistake before, when you go back into a cut phase or at the end of your bulk, when you're like, I need to lose a little bit of body fat and you start incorporating cardio back in your program, it's very hard. It's not easy. And if you never get out of shape, you don't have to go through those grueling workouts to get back into shape. So overall, just going to be healthy. You're going to be able to maintain a good cardiovascular system and it's going to help you reduce that amount of body fat that you build throughout your bulking process. The third thing that you could do is super simple, but it's something that a lot of people mess up is creating more movement throughout your day. 
By creating more movement throughout your day, it's going to help you burn more calories and it's going to help you maintain lower body fat percentages. My recommendation would be at, at least get eight to 10,000 steps every single day. And we want to make sure that we're doing this consistently throughout the week. So we don't want to get 8,000 one day and then 2,000 and then 10,000 and then 1,000. We want to make sure that we're consistently getting that eight to 10,000 steps every day. Our bodies were designed to move. And if we can get more movement throughout the day, one, we're just going to feel better. We're going to have less stiffness and less tightness in our body. But also, like I said, it's just going to expend more calories and it's going to help us maintain lower body fat percentages while we're in that bulking process. Now, getting into the colder months, it is harder to get more steps in, especially if you live somewhere where the climate is a little bit colder. Do your best to prioritize this because this will make a difference. If you're not doing a ton of cardio, this is something that I've had clients where we don't even implement cardio into the program. We just implement more movement through steps throughout the day. It actually helps them lose body fat. So this is something very simple, but can make a huge difference in your program. Just create more movement. That's going to help you maintain lower body fat percentages. It's going to make you feel better. And like I said, at the end of the day, our bodies are just designed to move. So the more movement that we can create throughout the day, overall, we're just going to feel better, move better, and overall perform better in our workouts. The last thing that you can do, and this is something that, again, is very simple, but is really going to help you maximize building muscle while minimizing body fat gain. And that is you need to create a stimulus in your workouts. And what I mean by this is if we're eating in a caloric surplus, you're eating 250 to 500 extra calories every single day. You want to make sure that those 250 to 500 extra calories are going towards repairing working muscles. And if you come into the gym and you're just hitting the same workouts every week, you're hitting the same reps, the same weights, you're not providing any sort of reason for your muscles to grow. Those extra calories are going to turn into body fat. So when you go to the gym, Use those extra carbs, fat, protein. Use those extra calories to come in and be intense with your workouts. Make sure that you're being competitive with yourself, that every single week you're trying to get 1% better. So say you did 100 pounds on a bench press for 10 reps. Next time throw 105 pounds on or try to get it for 12 reps. There needs to be some sort of progression every single workout, every single week, every single month. Over the course of three months, six months, 12 months, there should be progression. There needs to be some sort of progression from point A to point B, and you need to give your body a reason to change. If we're doing the same workouts over and over and over again, your body's very good at maintaining what it's doing, and it's not going to give it a reason to build muscle mass. So when you come to the gym, make sure that you're being intense with your workouts, that you're sticking to rest times. So anywhere from one minute, two minutes, I wouldn't go any further than three minutes. Most of your compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench press, that's where you're going to be taking longer rest times. But as you start to get later in the workout and you start to get more of your isolation movements, I would keep your rest anywhere from one minute to 90 seconds. Keep the blood in the muscle, keep it intense. That's going to help you create that stimulus and break down a lot of muscle tissue. You could also start to incorporate things like rest pause sets, drop sets, supersets, circuits. These are great ways that you can provide a lot of overload, a lot of volume, and really give your muscles a reason to change. So at the end of the day, Force your muscles to grow by giving them a reason to grow. If you're doing the same thing every single workout, you're not going to see the changes that you want to see. If you're like, what should I do? I actually have a full six-week mass program. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I'll even leave you a discount code where you can save some money on the program if you're looking to structure a workout and take all the guesswork out of that. So these are four crucial things that you can do to maximize building muscle mass while minimizing the amount of body fat that you gain in a lean bulking phase. If you incorporate these four things into your program, I promise it's going to make a huge difference. It's going to help you build more muscle and keep more body fat off so that you don't have to go through this really long cutting phase when you're done with your bulk. I hope this video helped. Let me know down in the comment section which one's going to be most helpful for you or which one you're going to incorporate into your program. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I'm going to leave a couple other videos to watch on the screen next. Make sure you check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one.